Today we're talking about the only affirmation that you will need to let go of the old story and recreate your specific person. So let's get into it guys. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel. I am here making my fasting easier for you, sharing all my tips and advice so that you can use them to create the life I have always dreamed of. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box. All information is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. The biggest gift that we get to experience as human beings is power. Power over our body, our mind, but also power over the experiences that we get to go through in the 3D. The problem is that sometimes we look at the 3D and we think that we are weak. We believe the narrative of the 3D and then we see ourselves as victims of our circumstances. And this happens because we somehow expect salvation to come from the outside, from the outer world, while salvation can only come from within, from the knowledge of spiritual law, but also from your imagination, okay? Your thoughts, your inner processes. Only active faith impresses the subconscious mind because faith actually is the evidence of what is not seen yet. And today I have a success story from the book The Power of Spoken Words by Florence Scovel Shen. A woman came to me whose heart's desire was the right marriage and happy home. She was very fond of a certain man, but he was a most difficult person. After having shown her every attention and devotion, he suddenly changed it and dropped out of her life. She was unhappy, resentful and discouraged. I said, now this is the time to prepare for your happy home. Buy little things for it, as if you hadn't a minute to spare. She became quite interested in shopping for her happy home, when all appearance were against it. Now, I said, you will have to perfect yourself on the situation and become immune to all resentment and unhappiness. I gave her the statement, I am now immune to all hurt and resentment. My poise is built upon a rock, the Christ within. I said, when you are immune to all hurt and resentment, this man will be giving you or his equivalent. It took many months. When one evening she came to see me and said, I have only the kindest and most friendly feelings for this man. If he isn't the divine selection, I would be happy without him. Not long after, she happened to meet the man. He was so sorry for the way he had acted. He begged her to forgive him. Not long after, they were married and a happy home came into manifestation. It had built itself around her active faith. Your only enemies are within yourself. The woman's enemy were hurt and resentment. They are indeed serpents and scorpions. Many lives have been wracked by these two enemies. Linked with God power, all opposition vanished from this woman's life. Nothing could by any means hurt her. Think what that means, to have a life free from all unhappy experiences. It is done through making a conscious contact with God power every instant. As you see in this story, when we change, everything around us changes. The people, the circumstances, everything. For this woman, it took months for her to get over her resentment and hurt. It doesn't have to be the same for you, okay? But it can. As we work on our emotions, we are working on the relationship that we want to. Because sometimes the reason why we are not getting the version of our specific person that we want is because even though we've been, we've been affirming for the new version of them all day long or visualizing or doing God knows what, okay, deep within, we still see them as the old version. We are still telling ourselves the same old story. They did this, they said that, they treated me this and that way. I need an apology, I need them to be sorry, I need them to beg, I need them to do this and that. What we forget in all of this is the experience was created by us. They are us pushed out, so you can right now forgive them. You can right now decide 
to get over this, to work on your emotions. All of this that you're holding to is just pushing them away. It's just preventing you from getting to that desired reality that you want. So basically you have created your own private hell and you are choosing to stay there and live there. That's also what people don't understand. Sometimes people ask me, but aren't we controlling them? You know, making them do things that they, they don't want because they told us that they don't want to be with us. They told us that they want to be with other people. And this is not true because the version that told you that they don't want to be with you is only that or was only that because your state of consciousness created that, you know. They told you what your state of consciousness was open to. So when you change your state of consciousness, you change that experience. When you're manifesting a healthy, healthy relationship with the person that you love, they are happy too in that relationship. They want to be there with you. They are choosing you. They are not held hostages. They are not kidnapped. They are there because they want to be with you. But you have to allow yourself to see their version too. It's not just about talking it, about it, you know, or visualizing it here and there. But throughout your day, what you are doing is affirming for the old version that said, I don't want to be with you. Because all you hear within you is, I have been rejected by him or by her. They don't want to be with me. So what you get in the 3D is rejection is someone that doesn't want you, that doesn't want to be with you. But when you let go of all of this, okay, when you allow yourself to um, just disregard what happened because it's not current anymore, it happened in the past, okay, and you are just living the now and accepting um, that you can achieve the reality, you can experience that reality that you want then you start allowing things to happen, okay? When you get over your ego and you are like, it's okay, I can love unconditionally. I can accept that someone can love me unconditionally too. I can see a future with that person without bringing the past into the mix. I can just focus on us being happy and enjoying the time together. I can do that for fun, for the fun of it. Okay, and let things happen behind the curtains. I'm just focusing on myself, working on myself, you know, enjoying my life. Then you make space for all of that love to come back to you. You make space for yourself to live that reality. You can do that, guys. Okay, you can use the words of Florence Scovel Shen, or you can create your own words. Okay, affirmations, um, they only work if you are 100% behind them. So create your version if you want. But find your way to let go of all of this resentment. Find your way to allow yourself to live the reality that you want. You can do this, guys. I believe in you. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. We're going to talk soon. Bye, guys.